Hey, what's up guys? John here. Over 200,000 cars per month are now being repossessed and roughly 8% of all car loans are more than 90 days delinquent. We're seeing a pretty big uptick in repo repossessions. When you say dramatic uptick, what, what are, can you put some numbers behind that? Yeah, you know, I think this is just for the business that we do, right? We're seeing it grow about 5% every month. We are witnessing what I believe is going to be one of the greatest rug pulls in the auto market in U.S. history. Currently, we are already seeing a dramatic rise in these repossessions as interest rates continue to rise. And what we are likely going to continue to see is this. This situation right here, these delinquencies rising past the extent of which we saw during the great financial crisis in 2006, 2007, and 2008. But what I'm gonna show you next is gonna blow your mind. If you have a car or you're thinking about buying a new car, Here's exactly what's happening. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's gonna share this content, to educate more people about what's really going on in the US economy. And if you wanna fix your credit, you wanna prepare yourself for the greatest opportunity to buy a new car, maybe a new truck, maybe a work vehicle, the time to buy is gonna be right in front of us. You're gonna want great credit. Go to greatcreditfast.com. Even if you have a late payment, medical bill, collection, foreclosure, even an auto repossession on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com for a free strategy session. Take a look at this. So you can see right here, you're already seeing these repossessions exceeding the 2009 great financial crisis. You know what's very fascinating? Is 2019, auto, re, auto vehicles, their payments, about 300 bucks a month for a used car, 360, 370, 323, that was the normal back then. And that was only four years ago. New cars, about 500 bucks, right? Nationwide, about $500, $550. Now what we're seeing is the average monthly payment, $725 per month, $725 per month, with roughly 17% of every single car you see on the road with an auto loan being over $1,000 a month just on their auto payment, not including car insurance, gas, nothing, 1,000 bucks a month. That's absolutely unbelievable. And most, most vehicles, the average, this is what's insane. The average auto loan right now is 125% loan to value. So if the car is worth, let's just call it $50,000, you know, they have you know, $62,500 essentially in existing debt on this. So that's pretty crazy, right? It's pretty crazy. Now you might ask, how is that possible? How is that happening? It's very simple. They'll, they'll see a sign on the side of the road or they'll see an ad online and they'll go there and say, look, we're gonna roll in taxes, tags, dealer fees. We're gonna roll everything into the loan and you just sign here. And so back in 2020 and 2021, when there was unlimited stimulus, PP loans, so much money flowing around, everyone felt rich, crypto stocks, everything was doing great, Airbnb, people were making money hand over fist. And so for someone to sign on the dotted line for, you know, an $800, $900, $1,000 car payment didn't really make a big deal. It wasn't a big problem. But now we're seeing the entire economy coming back to reality, and it's a really, really big issue for a lot of these borrowers. And you're seeing it right now with the Fred data showing consumer savings rate plummeting to the great financial crisis levels. That's a very, very, very big problem because during the great financial crisis, inflation was 2%, 3%. It wasn't a, a horrible situation like we're in now where many people would say that inflation might be 15% or 20%. Well, as that's continuing to happen, consumers, 69% of Americans in urban areas are living paycheck to paycheck, 69%. The job market for better educated and higher skilled workers has come to a grinding halt. Now, what many people don't realize, a lot of people talking about student loans, a lot of people talking about the housing market, but the most important market is gonna be the auto market because without a car, no one can work. And without working, obviously you're not gonna be able to pay rent, you're not gonna be able to pay everything else. It's the first domino to fall. And this is now really starting to open itself up to being one of the biggest bubbles in US history. Car insurance rates have also increased roughly 14% in 2023. So you think about it. In 2006, 2007, even you know, $300, $400 car payment, not a big deal back then. You had affordable car insurance, 50 bucks a month, 75 bucks a month. Now you're seeing 150, 200 bucks a month car insurance, sky high monthly payment on the vehicle, sky high gas prices, everything is through the roof. Average person is probably spending 1,500 bucks a month to drive a car. It's unbelievable. You think about it, 725 just for the vehicle. You have 200 bucks, give or take for the insurance. That's 925. Then maybe 50 bucks a month or 50 bucks a week for gas, right? So you're already now factoring in, you know, 1125 
plus repairs, maintenance, oil changes, things like that. And that's for the average person. That's for the average. 17% of a you know car payment over a thousand bucks a month. So you start to look at this, it's a really, really big problem. Auto insurance premium drives 17% in 2023. Now, when you're looking at a situation like you saw in Hawaii, like you saw in Canada, these disasters that are happening, you see it in uh, California, it's happening all over the place. What does this mean? It means insurance companies are suffering massive losses. And because of these losses, what are they going to do? They're going to push it on to consumers. So people with these car payments that they can barely afford now, it's going to get harder and harder and harder to maintain as it comes time to renew insurance. This is a very, very, very big problem right here. It says car insurance premiums are skyrocketing primarily due to rising auto parts and extreme weather. Extreme weather. This is what's going to happen. Look at what gas prices were in 2019, 2018, 2017. Two bucks a gallon, two, three bucks a gallon, not even three bucks. The highest, 2018 was 292, right? 292. Now you're going out and how much is gas? Four bucks, right? Three ninety, three dollars and 98 cents. So four bucks. So gas has doubled, right? So this is this situation is going to continue to get worse and worse and worse, especially as Jerome Powell continues to increase interest rates. What many people do not realize is as he increases interest rates, the cost of service credit cards gets more expensive. The cost of everything gets more and more and more expensive. But what is going to be very, very fascinating is how this whole thing plays out. Student loans, student loans, 40 days away. In 40 days, not even 35 days away, you're going to have 20, 43.5 million Americans making an average car payment or average student loan payment of $503 a month. What is this going to do? So people are going to have to start deciding, am I going to pay student loans? Am I going to pay the car? Am I going to pay rent? Or am I going to feed myself? Right? That's what's going to happen. We're going to start seeing a lot more defaults. And I've been predicting this for a very, very long time that when these bills start coming due again, it's going to be a big, big, big problem. 43, 43 million Americans. That is such a huge number. You know, it's getting this auto situation is getting so bad that even Ford right now is working on a patent to where their vehicles will be able to drive themselves back when people start defaulting, when they start to default. I mean, like, look, late payments, Ford applies for a patent to repossess cars. Uh, I mean, this is going to happen, I believe, on a lot of these electric vehicles. You're going to start to see this next couple of years where if someone, may, someone misses a payment, just vehicle just drives itself back. But I do believe this is going to be one of the very, very big, big crises in America is this auto loan problem. $1.6 trillion in auto loans. It's basically the size of the student loan crisis, right? The same exact size of the student loan crisis. We're going to start seeing these you know, these vehicles start to really stockpile. And so why, what I believe is if you're looking to buy a truck, you're looking to buy a car, you're looking to buy, you know, a vehicle, the opportunity to do so, I believe is going to be huge. And it's going to be right in front of us because you're going to start to see a lot of these dealers that are going to be forced to take back these vehicles. And you look at where interest rates are today. You look at where consumers are today. They don't have the same money they did a couple of years ago. And so what are people going to do? What are these, what are these companies going to do? They're going to have to fire sale these cars, right? That's what they're going to have to. They can't just let them sit on the lot. It's costing them money every single day letting it sit on the lot. Every single month it sits there, the car loses more and more and more value. So they're going to look to fire sale. That's what I'm betting. So if you're looking to get a really nice vehicle, maybe a G-Wagon, maybe you're looking to get an Escalade, maybe you're looking to get an F-150, maybe you're looking to get you know, Tesla, whatever vehicle you like, I think some really, really, really big opportunities are going to be coming right around the corner to do so as this economy really starts to, uh, I believe, implode. Because it's not just, I'm sure, this auto loan crisis is the big one, but there's other problems as well. Like if you look at what's happening right now in the real estate market, it's more expensive to buy an older home than it is to buy a new home. That's the first time it's happened in history. These home builders are looking to fire sale this inventory, right? You're starting to see the panic start to set in in this economy as everyone starts to realize that Jerome Powell is not turning turning around on his position. He's going to continue to increase interest rates and keep them higher for longer than most people expected. And a lot of people don't have the cash, they don't have the liquidity, they don't have the wherewithal to be able to withstand the pressure that Jerome Powell's about to put on this economy. What do you think about this entire situation? Do you think that we are going to witness the greatest rug pull in the auto market, in the real estate market? I mean, 
in the economy. This is huge. This, you think about it, 40% of all US dollars are printed in the last three years. Since 1776, they propped everything up with basically 0% interest rates. Now they're increasing interest rates at the fast pace in history, pulling money out of the market the fast pace in history. Banks are in big, big trouble. Look at Silicon Valley Bank, First Republic, Credit Suisse. You start the Signature Bank, you start to look at what's happening all around us. It's one big problem after the next. And I think that, you know, inside of massive periods of distress, there's massive opportunity for smart and savvy investors to make money, to build wealth, to create value for themselves and their family. And I think the biggest opportunity of all time is right in front of us. For those that have great credit, a game plan, cash in the bank, solid income, there's gonna be really, really, really big opportunities. If you need help fixing credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, anything on your credit report, don't let it sit there. In many cases, one negative item can stay in your report for upwards of seven years. One late payment on a credit card, for example, can hold your score down 180 points. 180 points, you can go from having great credit to bad credit because of one little situation. Don't let that happen to you. Don't miss this great opportunity. Don't pass up on what I believe is gonna be the biggest wealth transfer of all time. Go to greatcreditfast.com, add me on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.